All right, everybody. Hello. Uh, oh, <laughs> Toby says I do. Uh, me saying that made him bark a lot. Um, hi, uh, welcome to the first, maybe the only, I don't know, we'll see how this goes, uh, Skyrim Permadeath stream. Uh, the more <laughs> me sick stream, yeah. Sorry, I don't know why the Discord bot is always bad. Uh, anyway, this is gonna be, um, a somewhat modded Permadeath attempt at playing Skyrim, and, um, the, uh, the mod list I don't have handy, but essentially what we're going to do here, and this is thank you to Aeon Shix and others who suggested um, some tweaks and things to the base uh, Skyrim for this kind of... Uh, oh, hi, Toby. Want to go to your bed? There you go. All right, now we can start. Um, <laughs> good view. Uh, so yeah, um, we've got some, some mods. Um, Alternate start is really the big one, and we'll kind of just get into the game, and uh, that will be immediately apparent. But basically, um, we're not going to do the uh, the actual opening of the game. Uh, this mod gives you several different options for like kind of mixing up the opening of Skyrim, and um, hopefully that will mean that as I die... <laughs> I mean, I'm probably not going to die uh, ever, but as I die, uh, we will not be kind of going over the same territory again and again, which is good. Um, and then um, eh, just a couple other mods that will kind of make things uh, a little bit uh, improved. What's the other one that I really wanted to mention? Oh, I guess survival mode. I'm going to be using survival mode. So that, that's what's going to make it hard, especially hard. Um, I think I'm probably going to leave the difficulty on normal, though. We'll see how this goes. Anyway, I'm going to start off with a prediction. Um, and it's going to be... Um, let's see. Um... Let's say, will I survive for one hour? Let's start with that. <laughs> That's pretty bold. A whole hour is a long time. But let's uh, thank you. let's give it a let's give it a shot. Oh, the, the bot went off. That's fine. Great, wonderful. Uh, and thank you, Toast. Um, so that prediction is live. If you want to uh, get in on that, and let's start a game. Let's play a video game. All right, how's Toby aligned here? Let's make sure Toby's in view. There we go. There we go. Okay. Um, all right, so. Um, do we have audio? For some reason my, um, I think Skyrim's like locking me out of my uh, volume control. Uh, oh yeah, okay. That seems a little better. Everyone can hear it? Okay, I just can't hear it? Alright, I guess I better turn it up on my end then. Alright. Um, I... I'm gonna make this choice... Well, you know what? Why would I make a choice on my own when I can just have other people make choices for me? Um, let's see. Uh... Let's 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 do this here. I'm gonna put in I'm gonna put in a few. I I was gonna play as Nord because it's a little bit easier with the survival mode. You get like a, a warmth bonus, but I'm gonna put in some options just for fun. Uh, I think I have a feeling. I I wish I could do a prediction for what I think people are gonna vote for, because uh, I'm pretty sure I know. <laughs> uh, let's see. I can't fit all of them in here. But let's let's do this. Let's do a let's do a little poll for um for what we're gonna play as. Content does not meet guidelines. Wait, what? I can't. What? what? <laughs> okay. App apparently, apparently, I can't run this poll. <laughs> I guess it's racist. Uh, fine. All right, whatever. We'll play as a door to start. I'm gonna just make the choice uh, unilaterally. Um, <laughs> weird. That's super weird. I knew everyone was just going to vote for Khajiit. I mean, obviously. I mean, I, I guess... <laughs> Fine, let's just do it. I knew that was going to be the, the result, so let's just... I'm just going to... I'm just going to call. What were the results on the... 
Uh, oh wait, there was a poll already. Oh wait, what? Oh, did somebody run a poll? Did Ahmad run a poll? Oh, I didn't. I didn't know what was happening. Escape advance. Wait, what? No, that was that was from like a different stream. Oh, okay. Yeah, why did it block me for running this poll? That's so bizarre. I don't understand. Uh, we're definitely playing as a cat, though. I know that's what's happening. Uh, does anybody have a suggestion for a name for our our cat? Oh, I should probably like customize our cat. I guess I don't know. Um, Toby. Oh, I kind of like this tiger. Uh, tiger cat. Treats for Toby. Okay. I'm missing all kinds of things here. Tony, <laughs> Tony the tiger. That's actually pretty good. I, I think I think we have to go with that. I'm gonna I'm actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just fully, fully uh, make this choice. Uh, I think I, I think Fiona has it correct. I think Tony the tiger is pretty good. All right, I I don't really care about the rest of it as long as it's orange. Uh. Thank you. <laughs> Probably just Tony, I guess. Um, okay. Alright, I'm also going to be playing uh, with controller, just so that it's a little bit less vomitous uh, for folks watching. Um, so bear in mind that that'll probably mean I'm going to play worse. Um, so, anyway. Uh, so the way this mod works is you, you click on the statue. Approach, my child, and choose where your new life shall begin. You get this. You can go to your bed, Toby. Go on. Go on. Okay. Um, uh, wait, after the poll. Wait, what now? What Which poll? What are we talking about? Sail to? Oh, wait, what? Oh, I didn't mean to click that. So be it. Wherever you may sail <laughs> oh, no! To, a life wait, what? Opportunity awaits you, traveler. What did I pick? <laughs> I just set the controller down. Oh, you can choose again? Okay, good. Oh my god. The ship... Oh, on board a ship. That's not That's not bad. I think we don't want to do shipwreck, shipwreck off the coast because that puts us in like freezing cold water right off the start. We can save that for like a wild card run, but I think we probably want to choose one that's not insane right off the bat. Um, oh, after we bet that you're playing worse. Here's the thing though. I practiced on PS5 for like a whole week with controllers, so I should be... We'll see. Um... Yeah, I don't think we can do shipwreck. Uh, shout out what you think we should do here. Uh, I guess I can't run polls because I don't know why, but um, uh, does anybody have any opinions? It looks like we can... I own property. That seems like a very easy seed. I'm a new member of a guild. I'm a patron at an inn. <laughs> does that mean you're just like a drunkard? Uh, random if possible? I don't know that there is a random. Oh, surprise me. Oh my god, there is. Ah, okay. Uh, should we do a surprise to start? I feel like maybe the, the surprise to start, and then we could choose after that, uh, assuming that I die, <laughs> which I'm going to die, um, to, to make sure that we get a different uh, different result. Um, okay. Um, surprise, surprise, vampire survival. I, I don't know that I ever played as a vampire. That would probably be pretty hard. That would be a hard start. Um, I'm going to go with Surprise. It seems like Surprise is winning the, the uh, poll here. Life to chance. So be it. God, what if we get the uh, the shipwreck, though? Oh, my God. All right. Uh, I think it usually asks you if you want to do survival later. I'm going to just make sure it's enabled. Oh, you know what? Okay, I don't think it actually becomes an option until we leave. Okay. Um, all right, here we go. Pardon, would you care to hear me play my loop? Oh, I think we're the patron at the end. Let me know. Okay. Um, uh, where's the um, survival mode option? If well, uh, so if this is my room, wait, <laughs> they start me in this room and I immediately can't take anything from it. All right, well, oh, there's no door on it. Uh, I was going to close the door and steal everything, but I can't. It looks like we're probably out of view here. So, 
Okay. Uh, oh, just a girl's dress. <laughs> That's not going to help much. A horse hide? All right, I'll take this horse hide. Um... And that's empty. <laughs> Can't make that horse bag. Uh, it's Fiona's birthday. Happy birthday, Fiona. Um, absolutely necessary for you to bother me right now. What? Who's talking to me? <laughs> this person? You don't look like a pilgrim. Why bother visiting Iverstead? <laughs> I want to talk to you. I just want all this food, but you have to steal it. Sometimes you don't have to steal the food. It's on the tables, but in this case, it looks like I have to steal the food. What if I, um, oh, that's Skyrim. We don't want to go there yet. Let's, uh, let's see if we can, like, get a, uh, get a good start here with some stuff. I feel like, um, I feel like we can, we can probably find something useful in here. Actually, where the hell are we? Uh, oh, man. Okay. So we are, um... We're in that town that's by the the um, the big climb uh, to the top of the mountain. All right, so right, Iverstead. Yeah, um, yeah. There aren't many rooms here. There's just the room that I started in. Okay, and this one that has nothing in it. Wait, there's something in here. Okay, there's something in here, but we're in view. Oh yes, perfect. Gold lock picks. Ocean of Minor Stamina. Perfect. Alright, what a great start this is going to be. Oh, maybe I can like wedge myself in this corner. Yes. Clothes! Alright, we found some clothes. And a hat. And Miner's clothes. Alright. Um, so I've got that Sky UI mod. I've never actually used this. So this is going to be kind of weird. Oh, we're already wearing clothes. Fine. Um, Thank you. Uh, Alright, we didn't really get anything, but we do have uh, some things we can sell. Let's see. We don't get many visitors. Uh, these guys aren't going to probably allow us to if buy you, any of this stuff. Keep away from the barrel and mm. take a look. Or to sell any of this stuff. Because it's... Um, it's like jewelry. Alright. Uh, and thank you, Toast, you for uh, the subscription. Um, okay, well this is bad. We don't have any weapons. Do we? Oh no, they gave us a mace to start. Okay. All right, then we're fine. We just don't have any armor. But, you know, it's not like it's not permadeath or anything. Let's go out in Skyrim. Um, so, yeah, let's see. An hour starting when? Like, three minutes ago? So about, like, 2.40. If I make it to 2.40, that prediction pays off. If you open your inventory... Okay, here we go. Here's survival. Thank God. I was really worried that wasn't going to come in. All right. So now, starting now, if you've never played in survival mode, it's really cool... It means no fast travel. It also means that you have to keep eating. You need food all the time, and uh, it's very bad if you don't have food. Um, and also, there's a warmth uh, system where uh, it starts to reduce your stats uh, after a while if you don't um, if you don't uh, stay warm. I right off the bat, I'm going to be very fumbly with. Uh, with all this new UI stuff. Um, oh, wow. Thanks, Fiona. Jeez. Well, a happy birthday to you, and thank, thank you. you. Uh, I don't think that's the way that presents work, but I appreciate your support, as always, and uh, uh, thank you very much. Actually, Fiona, I have to say, uh, I use the glasses that you, uh, that very you. kind gift to your, your, the whiskey glasses you bought me. I use those probably, like, once a week. I really appreciate those. Uh, I don't know if I've ever followed up on that on that gift, but it's really nice. So, okay. Um, it's how presents work for hobbits. That's true. Um, all right, so we're in Skyrim. Now what the hell do I do? We, we need some more food. Um, how do you run in Skyrim? Oh, right, okay. Um, I'm playing with a PS4 controller, so it just feels slightly different than the, uh, than the PS5 controller I've been using. I don't know why. It's totally the Thank same. You. Uh, the other thing you can do in survival is um, uh, make a campfire. And so, um, is there a woodcutter's axe? There's one right here. Thank you. So, 
I've never played as a Khajiit. This is this is actually a, a first for me. Um, Thank you. Okay, so we're hungry already. We're peckish. Um, I guess one of the mods. Uh, we only need four firewood for that uh, campfire, and then we're gonna need Thank some leather. You. Um, I don't know if anybody here is going to have leather to buy. Um, probably not. Oh, but we can steal these chicken eggs. Oh my god, Fiona. Uh, thank you. Uh, we can steal other cabbages. Um, this might be the way that we have to subsist for the beginning. <laughs> thank you, Fiona. I did not realize exactly how many of those subscriptions that you purchased. I appreciate that. Um, okay, so as you eat, uh, you don't have like a meter, but at it, it, the top left it will like say, now you you feel like satisfied, or now you're, you know, well fed. And then you can check, um, you can check the, the current status in the magic. Thank you. Uh, active effects. Here you go. So we see that we're refreshed. Uh, you have to sleep as well with survival, so that's the other thing we gotta worry about. Um, it looks like there is some kind of contextual HUD thing where it's not showing me the health all the time, which is gonna make this a little bit harder because normally you would know uh, how much the survival mode is like cutting into your health and stuff. Uh, maybe it'll pop up when we actually uh, start to have detrimental effects. Um, oh man, okay, so what should I do? So, oh, the other thing I should say, uh, somebody, I forget who came up with this, um, I think it was Aeon or Affable, uh, when I, every time I kill a dragon, I'm gonna get an extra life. Um, I think for this prediction, though, if I die in the next hour, we'll call that for the prediction because I didn't specify the dragon part of it. Um, but, uh, but yeah, we're gonna, that's the way we're gonna do it, I think. Um, well, so the main quest is presumably just running right now, but maybe that's not, I guess we should go over to that area though. There's some easier dungeons that we could level up in, kind of like in this zone. At this point, we're probably in danger of like running into like bears and stuff that would be really nasty. I'm actually going to go this way because I think it's slightly easier. I don't know. I don't remember. I kind of remember. Let's go this way. Um, but Skyrim is still really good. I, I casually played this all last week to kind of prep for this. And um, man, I had a really enjoyable time. Um, it's just so goofy and funky and like, <laughs> I mean, the, you know, there are definitely some things that are uh, maybe cinematically not what you'd, what you'd want, but um, still just from like a systems level, it's just, it gives you so much freedom. Um, if you want to get the main quest going, go to the ruins of Helgen and there's a burned corpse. Okay, thanks, Antrix. I think I will do that, uh, just to know where we're at with it, and then maybe I'll ignore it for a while. Um, but yeah, the other mod that we're running... Oh god, a rat. Classic role-playing game. So, oh, I should have also mentioned, I'm running this mod called Wildcat that completely revamped the way that, like, damage works. Um, basically, uh, the way that it works is the health bar kind of becomes, like, you can get injured and stuff, and also the health bar, like, you're stronger when the health bar is full, and when it's low, you're, like, really weak, and uh, you can die very quickly. Um, and stamina is kind of reworked so that it's a bit more Dark Soulsy. Um, oh, man, maybe we can sell some stuff here. Here's what I can spare. Yes, okay. Um, oh, wait, how do I know... How do I know what's mine in this UI? Uh, and yeah, the dragons are going to appear from the start. Um, so, yeah, wait, what the heck? I never used the sky UI thing. Bottom left corner. Um, 
Oh, down at the bottom I switch. Oh, whoops. Okay, clearly there's like a uh, control tooltip that's not popping up. Uh, um, switch tab. Uh, er. <laughs> How does this work? How do I know what's mine? I don't understand. This is clearly his uh, stuff. I'm not sure that I like this UI in comparison to the base game. Um, you always use a mouse and click on it? Oh no, ew, that's weird that it doesn't have like something to account for uh, controllers. There's gotta be something though, let's see. What do you need? I need this to work, buddy. Um, oh man, you've got to click on it? Here, let's see. Oh, I can't take, I just, I can't switch the mouse right now. Oh, this is bad. Um, take a look. There's got to be a way to do this. Is it only designed for mouse and keyboard? Oh, okay. Well, that's dumb. We, I think we're going to have to like pause and unload that then. Which is fine. I actually, wait, what? I can't save. Oh, because I had a tooltip. Okay. Okay. Um, there's a context menu at the bottom when you're looking at the first item. I know, and it says column and order and switch tab and search and exit, but it doesn't show you. Uh, okay. Skyward with the controller is actually really nice. I highly recommend it. Um, all right, I'm going to just disable this mod and come back. Um, <laughs> sorry. Unloading it will probably break some things? Uh, I don't think it's going to break the things that I have. Let's let's find out, though, because I clearly can't play the game with it loaded. All right. Well, you know, if this is the only time that I have to do this, then I'll be happy. Um, uh, okay. Game running again. Break the mod configuration menu? Nah, it's fine. Okay, how's everybody doing? <laughs> it's so funny that Toby's on stream. He's really has not been um, showing up for streams lately. All right, let's cross our fingers that this is fine. Uh, yeah. Yeah, what's the date on that, Rubik's? Um, oh, we got a spinny. Uh-oh. Is this, is this a crash? Uh-oh. Oh, no. Hey. Hey, okay. Here's what I can spare. Um, perfect. Okay. Um, so... I can't sell any of my good stuff to him. I, I have 250 gold, though. Let's see what we've got in terms of apparel. All right. This is... It's a little dangerous to uh, run around without any armor. I think it's probably worth buying some, even though we're going to find a lot early anyway. Um, oh, he doesn't have any, like, base armor, it looks like. Oh, the studded armor. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's buy that. Um... Uh, the hour didn't restart, uh, it's just, um, there's like three minutes there where I had to reload the game. So we'll just take that off the balance. Um, okay. Take a look. And then I guess, um, oh, I, I thought I could sell some of the clothes, but I can't. All right. Very tempting to steal all this. Um, all right, let's go. Um, I'm going to stick with spells for the moment simply because I'm afraid to not have healing up. <laughs> Wait, is this really the way I'm going? Oh yeah, I guess so. Oh, you can see the little road here. I do like this map mod that shows the roads and stuff. Um, okay. I actually think the vanilla interface is fine. I really feel like the the uh, 
whining about the UI is a little overblown. But I've also been playing on PS5 for a week, so that's just me. Um, all right, let's go this way. Ah, uh, Skyrim. Oh! I kind of vaguely remember this little hut here. Alchemist Shack. So I should also say, ah, oh, lots of food. Oh, this is good. The thing I love about survival is you really... <laughs> all these places that just have, like, gourds and stuff suddenly become really, like, big events. You're like, oh my god! Like a cabbage. It's, like, <laughs> very exciting. Uh, okay, we didn't get a skill point for that. Oh, we have notes on a tamed rabbit, though. Pets of Skyrim. I don't know that I've ever uh, bothered with pets in Skyrim. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to do that twist, but I will allow someone to link it if there is a clip. Uh, <laughs> um, all right. Let's see what's in this barrel. Dragon's tongue. Oh, pets is a new thing. Oh, okay. I don't actually know what's in the uh, anniversary stuff. Is there a system for smoothing out your clothes with an iron? There's probably a mod for it. Uh, I probably don't have it, though. Um, I'm going to be opening every book because some of them give you skill points and some of them don't. I guess that gave us a little map information. Uh, oh, a butterfly in a jar. Okay. Have I read any of the books, Rampus? Uh, yes, I think I actually had to, um, at some point, read all of the books, or many of the books, for uh, just, like, copy editing and stuff. Um, I didn't write any of them, though, no. There was a call for that, and I just was busy at the time. Um, all right. This is, a, this is our first, like, can we survive these wolves? And it looks like with flames we'll be okay at the start. Um, the Wildcat mod, though, it's so severe that I think uh, if we run into a bear or something, I'm definitely running away. Um, get this leg of goat. So, like, already, how is, what's going on with our... Um, so we're drained fatigue, but we're hunger satisfied. So we need to sleep at some point here. But we're comfortable. In terms of the cold. Oh, this is actually going to get a little dicey, though, as we go through these, this mountain pass. Are we going to get too cold? We don't have much... We've only got the one piece of clothing. Oh, no. All right, I'm a little worried about this. Also, I don't know if this person's dangerous. Okay, there we go. Greetings, up. brother. You look weary. I have something to help you. Take help me look. relax? Uh, oh. Uh, murder him for his clothes. His clothes don't look that good, or I would think about it. <laughs> uh, oh, but we can sell our necklace to this orc, although we're not getting full value. I'm still going to do it. I'm going to do it. Um, okay. Skuma. Yeah, classic Skuma. That's just stamina, though. That's not really going to help us for... Um... Wow, 155 for Moon Sugar. I don't really know what moon sugar is. Is that some kind of drug? I don't I don't know. I wish you could kind of like light a tree on fire with your flames and then and then get warm that way, but that's how this works, I guess. Um <laughs> I always play as the most boring humans in this game, so this is very funny to me. Uh alright. This is going to get a little dangerous, I think, going this high. But it is uh, daytime. So, nighttime is much colder. If you get wet, it's a real problem. Um, but right now, we might be okay. Um, going through here. Amar's shame. Oh, do we go in? Oh, man, we can really eat it, like, super fast here. This is probably a somewhat, like, higher level bot. Uh, I don't know. We can definitely get warm if we go in for like a second. So let's go in for a second and get warm. Um, oh wow, the game crashed. <laughs> oh no! Oh man, um, 
I hope that that doesn't happen all the time. Um, oh, mods. That counts as not surviving. Um, <laughs> I don't know about that. I'm a little worried about like saving though. When did that, when, when was the last time? And is this going to keep happening? God, I really, I tested this a bit yesterday, but I don't know. I think that counts as surviving. Yeah, I think we're okay for now, but, um, yeah, the mods are killing Skyrim. The, I do have a backup plan. We can disable like almost everything. Um, and just, uh, just play with the alternate start. Um, It is on a solid state. This is going to be pretty quick to get back in, but um, I'm just more disconcerted that this is going to keep happening. I wonder if it's the UI thing. Mm. Um, it's a pretty common requirement. Is it? Does anybody know if there is a workaround for... Okay, we're back here. That's not the worst, but it's not the best, obviously. Is there any way to work it with a controller, or should I just play with mouse and keyboard? If I play with mouse and keyboard, it's going to start to hurt my hands after a few days of this, but... Um, I should just make a new save. All right, I think I think that's probably true. One twenty eight. I think one twenty eight is giving us giving us the, the the correct. You can switch to sell by hitting select. Oh my god, I didn't try select. Can't wait to kill another of Here's what I can Oh my god, uh, that's so stupid. All right, I think that's probably that's okay. Hold on. <laughs> Let's re-enable the dumb mod. Uh, mods. Okay. Um, or the touchpad. Yeah, why didn't I try everything? I guess I just got annoyed immediately and then um, figured it was uh, faster just to disable it. But um, Okay. <clears throat> Actually, this is probably the case. So we should be all right. And... Um, Take this time to uh, make sure that Toby Cam is properly adjusted. Um, okay. Hopefully, we're okay here. That crash could have been for any number of other reasons, but uh, let's let's hope that it was uh, the UI situation. All right, we'll go Here's to what here. I can spare. And then select. Ah, it's select. All right. Um, uh, thank you, Anchix, for uh, tracking that down. And uh, we're all good. So, all right. Yeah, the only thing that I had done is just go to that hut and then uh, take all the stuff. So let's just go quickly do that and uh, be on our way. I did survive all those minutes. Um, <laughs> oh, wait, I'm going the wrong way. Uh, here, I'm going to make a more specific marker for myself. Okay. Um, oh wait, there's a dragon nearby. Uh, I think we're going to want to avoid that. <laughs> let's, let's not go right into, uh, fighting a dragon. Oh, that would be a hardcore way to gain a life. If we could somehow cheese a dragon early on, that would be, uh... That would be a, a, a good way to get a leg up. Um, so yeah, dragons are spawned already uh, with, with the mod uh, that we've got going. And, and um, the permadeath thing that we're going to do is every time I kill a dragon, I gain a life. Uh, which is like a bit of a insurance policy in terms of... Uh, just uh, not having to restart quite so much for a permadeath thing. Um, why am I, like, off the beaten path here already? Oh, I see. Never mind. I just put a really bad marker. This is the way to go. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I put a little life counter at the top. So we'll start with zero. Well, I guess we have one life, but uh, consider that an extra life um, counter. Uh, and... Um, yeah, I think that was a good suggestion, whoever suggested that, because one of the things that I was hitting with uh, the Metal Gear Solid streams is just like, oh, we're having a lot of fun deep into this uh, run, and then like, oh, I died in a very stupid way, and um, 
now we're back looking at the same content. Although the the alternate start really does help that a lot, I think, in this case. Um, all right, I'm going to sleep a little bit just to uh, stay rested. And... Um, oh, I didn't buy the armor in this in this one. Uh, let's... Let's just try to make it out of here without, without buying it. Um, I feel like it's probably okay. We'll just we'll just lean on the healing. Uh, oh, but no, it's gonna be gonna be really hard, like temperature-wise. I think oh, I should just go back and buy buy that armor. Um, <laughs> Yeah, that's funny, Slinky. I think I, you know, I actually, those runs got pretty deep, considering I was playing um, a fairly strict permadeath uh, situation. Um, oh god. Thanks, Kill Cab. What an interesting, what an interesting view. Um, all right. Where is this? Oh, that's a bear. Whoa. Oh no. Where am I? Ah! Where's the where's the little encampment that I was trying to find? I don't understand where they go. Oh god, this bear. Alright. Screw it. Let's just go. Um I lost the I lost those those dudes. Where'd those dudes go? Are they over here? Let's just get to Helgen. the hut and um, we have enough daylight hours to make it to uh, to the ruins of Halgen before um, before it gets really cold <laughs> ah. That wolf had four gold on it. I'm not really sure. Did we, did we like Jurassic Park, like pick through the wolf's droppings? Droppings? I don't, I don't understand how that works. But uh, um, <laughs> twenty-five minutes. No, I think the actual bet is probably a half an hour from now if we survive that long, but it feels like I've only been playing like three minutes. I'm not sure. Right, hand over your valuables or I'll gut you like a fish. Oh shit. <laughs> oh no. I mean, <laughs> we don't have anything. Oh my god. Oh, this is so early. Um uh Um I we are level one, should we try to intimidate? <laughs> <laughs> yes, actually. You look like you're lousy with gold. <laughs> I'm not going to ask again. Um okay. Make a poll. <laughs> uh I mean I feel like if I make a poll oh a coward. Didn't even put up a <laughs> Okay, I just gave her the stuff. Here's the thing. Two hundred gold oh Oh no, she's really strong! Ah! Oh no! Oh god! <laughs> oh, 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 oh no! Okay. Uh, uh. 
So this is one of the things you can do with flames. Because the beginning of the flame does a lot of damage, so you can kind of just like... Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, here we go, here we go. Skyrim Pro coming out, coming out to play. Um... <clears throat> When this magic up meter is done, though, we're in trouble. I think I can just... Oh, oh, oh god. Oh, that's not looking good. Okay. Um, oh, shit, we're out of magic. Well, you know what? I think... Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay, that was a very good view for the end of that fight. All right. We are through our first uh, tense moment. That was that was quite tense. So what did we get? We got a mage hood, some studded armor. Um, that hat on. I guess none of this is really. Good. Oh, the hide boots. Okay. Oops. Very good. <laughs> Jesus, that's loud. Uh, save the game. Save the game. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll definitely save the game. Okay. Um. Okay. Um, yeah, we're cold. All right. Let me give Toby a treat. Good catch. Wow. Um, all right. How's the uh, game audio, by the way? Is it a little loud, maybe? Feels like it might be a little loud. Um, it's good? Okay. Sounds good. All right. I will leave it where it is. Um, yeah, you could definitely see that Wildcat mod coming into play there. Uh, the first couple of hits, not too much damage, and then um, right at the end was getting getting a little scary. Definitely exponential, uh, which is terrifying for a permadeath run. Because once you take a few hits, you just want to give up and run away. Um, okay, so we're back to Hamar's shame. Should we go in? Let's 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 go in for like a second and get warm just see if it crashes, because if it crashes, then we definitely have to, like, unload some mods. Okay, it was the UI mod. That's great to know. Okay, um, all right, we've got a guy up there. I think this is a pretty high-level dungeon. I don't think we should attempt it. Um, I need a loud side of perfect. Um, yeah, it's also still cold. I'm gonna back out of this situation. Let's just uh, get to the get to the safer zone. Um, because yeah, I mean there could be like trolls in there. I it's 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 probably not a good idea. Um, regardless of the uh, leveling system. Um, all right. Ah, uh, Skyrim. All right, we've got somebody on the road here. Is this another thief? Uh-oh. What's your deal? You're not afraid you'll set fire to something? <laughs> I don't know if I've ever heard that line. I mean, I'm sure I have, but I don't remember it. Uh, okay. Um, all right, well, we can sell our hides and things. I don't think we're going to be using them anytime soon, so I probably should um, sell these pelts off. And then uh, they've got uncooked venison, but... Do we have salt? I think we do, but yeah, we'll, we'll, there'll be plenty of food down the road here. I think that's okay. Uh, clearly, Frampus. Yeah, no, I mean, if uh, we can beat Skyrim, if we can kill enough dragons without dying uh, past the life counter. Oh god, oh storm cloaks. This should be o This should be okay. I don't think they're gonna be hostile on. Yeah. I think you might be in the wrong place, friend. Juniper berries. Um, all right. Damn faithless imperials. 
I don't care what you have to say. Actually, in some cases, these horses are just freebies, I think, but uh, looks like not here. To kill another Do any of you sell anything? No, okay. Sometimes there's like an armor. Oh, here we go. I'll fight the entire legion myself if they dare show their faces here. What are you working on? <laughs> Take a look. <laughs> okay, they've clearly lost it here in the Stormcloak army. Um All right. We could use a helmet. How much money do we have? We have 268. Uh let's sell what we have. Let's get rid of these daggers. Let's I have not talked about, like, builds or anything. Does anybody have any, like, substantive um, uh, contribution to make in terms of a good build for a permadeath run? I don't. <laughs> I really, as much as I play this game, I am not really sure what the safest way to go would be. Stealth Archer seems to be popular, and yet... I do feel like there's a real danger there. There's so many things that can close distance or mages that can just like nuke you if you uh, don't get that shot off uh, and hit. But if people want me to do it, I'll try it. It certainly would make for yep. some tense moments. Uh, so maybe that's good regardless. Um, uh, just be a good archer. Okay. Stealth archery with conjuring. All right. You know what? I'll, I'll do it. Let's do Stealth Archery with Conjuring, and we'll just go for it and see if it works. Um, I mean, I don't think I'm going to buy a bow because you find so many of them. But I am worried about just surviving the beginning of this, so I think I am going to buy a helmet. Uh, I do like these icons. Is there a way to just, like, sort, though? Oops. I wish you could sort by, like, type. Uh, there probably is an easy way to do that on... Uh, the real version of this, but um, uh, yeah, yeah. here's what I can spare. I mean, the thing about archery, I mean, would we go like heavy armor? Uh, <laughs> it seems like such a Alchemy is always a good... Yeah, no, people were saying uh, on the Discord, people were definitely talking up... Oh, can we take these? People were talking up... Wait, I don't want the bloody rags, I want the potion. Why is it not... Alright, fine, I'll take the bloody rags. Why is it not... Uh... Telling me what it is? Oh god. That just hurt me. What? That was weird. <laughs> They're fake potions! Who are you? Who are you? So injured people. Oh my god. Okay, it's getting dark. We better just move along. Uh, okay, Helgen's here. Let's go there. All right. Oh. Okay, we are going to count fall damage. I am making a choice on that unilaterally. If I fall, it counts as a death. Um, listen, it's Skyrim. If you're in a position where you're going to fall and die, you probably put yourself there. I think it's only fair that it counts. Um, so. Okay. The other thing about, um, this, this kind of, like, survival mode playthrough is it's really dangerous to sprint sometimes because if you run into, like, a bear or something and you're down to zero stamina, you are just in trouble. Um, okay, we're warm now. Because the town is burning! <laughs> Probably. <laughs> uh, these, oh my god. Okay. Is it just going to fly off? Or is it going to, like, think that we haven't done all the stuff? I guess it thinks that it's all over. Okay. Hey, Skyrim. Kind of. The actual starts, like, over here or something, right? Um, oh, right, I need to interact with the corpse. Thank you, Anne. What would I do without you? Uh, okay. 
Um, where is that corpse? Oh, there's an arrow. Is that arrow pointing me to the corpse? Looks like it might be out of the boundary of the, uh, uh, well, hmm. Wow, okay, weird. Corpse gained! <laughs> oh, I see, it turned to ash, but somehow a leather journal survived the attack. Wow, that's some... That's some fan fiction. Somehow! <laughs> uh, alright. We did it. Um, or I guess I have to return this journal or something. Um... Read the journal. Oh, wow. I am not used to this UI yet. Ah, investigate the cave mentioned in the journal or warn the residents of Riverwood about the dragon attack. Uh, let's just go warn them. I'm not going to really care about the main quest, but I do kind of want to just get this part of it going so that I more or less know what part of Skyrim we're on. Um... Also, that cave kind of scares me. It's, it's definitely tuned to have, like, your buddy with you. And, uh... There are definitely situations where you're being attacked by, like, four things at once. That do not want to hit yet. Okay. What guild I'll join? Oh, yeah, there's all kinds of decisions to make. Um, or even, like, where to go next would be an interesting thing. I, I mean, I did sort of... This isn't that divergent of a start. I mean, you know, here we are. Um, but I think that's kind of good for the first one, uh, assuming that we have to restart at some point. Um, so... Where the hell am I going? Why am I doing this? It's probably not a good idea to go, like, cliff... cliff walking, uh, right off the bat here. Especially when we're 20 minutes away from our prediction. Um... Can I complete Bleak Falls Barrow without a death? Let me tell you, uh, I certainly couldn't in my casual playthrough. Um, I wasn't being careful like I would now, but this game is harder than I remembered, uh... It's, um, I tried playing on, like, Legendary Difficulty and just got my ass completely handed to me, so... Um, I think actually the prudent thing to do right now is just get to town, because it's getting dark, and I'm a little afraid. Um... Yeah, I know, Aeon, that's, that's a, that's a good point. Um... I don't really remember exactly where the first one is, is it, like... Around one of these corners, or is it is it lower? I think I've got to get lower, huh? I've got to go down there. That's where they, it usually spits you out. I guess I am like way too high here. I think there's a switchback like right here ish. Yeah, okay. Um. Okay. Now you can see, already, survival mode, the magic and stamina bars are not at full, and that is because uh, we are tired and hungry, probably. Uh, and they will get a lot lower than that, depending. Um, so we've, we're at town here. I'm actually I'm just going to go in the town um, and uh, probably sleep through this night just to play it super safe. Um, okay. Orgnar. We got room, drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. So, uh, 
cooked food is just like exponentially better. Eating, um, oh, I only have 10 gold. Eating apples is not the way to go. Uh, I'm gonna sell off a lot of these ingredients, I guess. I don't need fire salts and frost salts right now. That's too valuable, let's get rid of it. Let's get rid of most of this. Um, and is this stuff cooked? It's not, I might buy some salt and then cook it just to save Take a little a money. Just regular salt if he's got it. Salt pile, there we go. Um, and then yeah, anything that's gonna give me um, like hundreds of hunger points I'm gonna be buying right now. Uh, because that's the good stuff. Okay. Uh, I guess the innkeeper is the lady? You're that right. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Secretly yeah, resistance back. person? Spoiler. Um, which you hear me? bed is the player bed here? I don't remember. I guess you don't have potatoes in your ears after all. Which room is my room? Sure we get a fresh batch in soon. There we go. Okay. Let's rest through the night. Fire salt craft soups that warm you up. Oh, didn't know that, handshakes. Um, Come on in. Let me know if you need anything, or take a seat by the fire, and I'll send someone over. Uh, anything to steal? Maybe wardrobe. Oh, a blacksmith's apron. It's eight value, but I'll probably not take that. Uh, the other thing with survival, um, your carrying limit, pretty harsh. Um, let's see. Yeah, we're at a 150 right now, so. It's um, definitely something to keep an eye on. Rooms and food. Drink too. And um, now I'm just looking for like a cooking pot. Maybe there isn't one here. I guess there isn't one here. Thought there was. Okay. I for some reason really like the food aspect. I think it's. I think it makes all the food that's everywhere really important, which I, I kind of like. Um, what? What is it now, mother? It was as big as the mountain and black as night. Oh yeah, I gotta tell him about the stuff. Oh yeah, hey, I saw a dragon. Truly. You had best tell the Jarl in Whiterun. He needs to know about this. And I've got better things to do than listen to more dragons. Um, now I might be able to buy some leather or something to, um, Let's see, where's the, uh, uh, oh. Oh, camping supplies, there we go. Okay, so this is just one leather I need. So I need to buy one leather or, or make one leather. What? Um, I don't think I have, they just, oh, wait. Oh, okay, I can make three. Okay. Um. Oh, wrong bench. Or thing. Just ruining this guy's day, uh, kicking him off his own stuff. Alright, um, I could make three of these if I wanted to by chopping some more wood. And I think I actually will because if you're out and you get caught in the snow, it's a pretty easy way to die. Um, so let's see, where can I chop some wood? I guess over here. So far, I mean, not feeling too bad in terms of uh, starting uh, equipment here. Do you want constant maintenance of the character to be the main thing? I mean, here's the thing, like, it's always maintenance of some kind. A lot of it's combat, right, which is just another kind of... Uh, it's only the combat's only so interesting too. Um, all right, how much did that give us? All these things working in concert are what make it interesting to me. Okay, I've got five. I need one, uh, three more. Uh, 
Um, was this a thing in the base game, the chopping blocks? I don't even remember. And what was it? It was? Okay, what, did, what was the firewood useful for? Um, nothing. Okay, all right. That's. I think that was basically my memory of it, yeah. It's good that somebody figured out how to make it useful. Um, you could sell it, but that's... That's pretty useless because the merchants, uh, it's a lot of time. I guess, I guess it's just like, oh, maybe you can sit there and do that a lot if you want, uh, and make, like, a pittance when every piece of armor you can sell for a lot more. Um, okay, great. Okay, this is really good to have three, three campsites. The nice thing about the campsites is they are persistent, so you actually are adding a permanent... Uh, thing to the uh, map when you when you start a campsite. You can pick it up again, but um, we could strategically place them in colder spots, and that would be a, uh, a good thing for us. All right, yeah, I'm gonna go find uh, this one easy dungeon that I remember over here, and then also maybe that stone that will give us a buff. And we have some wolves. Uh, okay. Uh, well, so no, Tom, there was a mod I almost installed that overhauls the animal AI, uh, and one of the things it does is it makes them afraid of fire, which I thought was kind of interesting, up to a point. Um, okay, there we go. Now we're satisfied. Uh, probably, let's bring us up to, um, well-fed. You can get food poisoning if you eat raw food, and I gotta be careful not to accidentally do that. Um... Uh, apparently, like, the bears and things are not are only afraid for, like, a second, and then they, they go back to being bears. Um, I'm gonna accept this mage stone sign. I kind of forget what that does. I didn't even bother reading the thing. The mage stone is magic skills improve 20% faster. Oh, okay. Um, and there's like gotta be some little hovel or something we can investigate over here just to get some get our beak wet and uh level up a little. Let's see. Anything down here? Um <laughs> Oh! I think those are bandits. Oh god, I'm so afraid of, like, world combat right now. Like, at least in a dungeon you can just run out the door, but... Stuff that would happen out here is so much scarier. Let's go this way. Uh-oh. Hello there, friend. How lucky for you to chance upon a bard on the road. I... I don't need a bard. I thought there was a little dungeon around the corner, but I guess I'm missing it. Let's just go this way. We'll take the long way to uh, White Run. Oh, jeez. <clears throat> Looks like those wolves killed this. Or bone bone wolf. Bone wolf. Oh, that's a lot of wolves. Oh, that is so many wolves. Oh my god, why are there so many wolves? Jesus. Oh, that looks really dangerous. What? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
Oh, it's anniversary edition. I don't. This this kind of pack is is new for me. This is so scary. I I don't I don't think I can do that. I we're level. This is not a good idea. I'm gonna go this way. Um. Not prepared for that. Oh. Anything good here? Ocean of Minor Magica. Somebody's walking over there. Never should have come. Oh god. Uh, I think it's just the one. Oh Jesus. Oh Is it vampires? What the hell? Oh shit. Uh oh. Oh my god. Oh we gotta run! Okay, um potion, potion, potion. Uh oh man, all we have is magic and stamina. Um uh, I'm gonna try to oh no oh, no oh Oh, uh, just shy of an hour. So close. Oh my god, that was not an hour. Oh man. <laughs> no, with the with the pauses and stuff, that was definitely not an hour. I was I was keeping track. Oh man, that is such a bummer. Oh. All right. Well, there's one in the bag. Um, <laughs> let's go back to the menu. Who are we playing as now? Um, so, jeez, that that was pretty rough. A conjurer out in the middle of nowhere. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, I, I wish I'd had like a sword and a shield at that point, but I don't know that it would have really helped me without potions. That's pretty tough. Um, oh, I stole from their from their thing. I didn't know what I was doing. Um, I didn't know what I was doing uh, in many different ways. Okay, so um, yeah, what uh, what um, what race should we uh, select? For this playthrough, I definitely, I don't know that I learned anything from that from that run. I'm not sure. Um, Argonian. Okay. Sure. Um, Argonian maid. Yeah, we can go uh, a lady this time. And I don't really know that I like have a good sense of. Customization options here. Looks like it's just. Heavy armor two handed? Mmm. <laughs> Nick Breton? <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh... Well, is it going to be Argonian or, or Breton? Let's uh, let's decide. I'm trying to think like what I could have done differently there, other than just like run away sooner. I guess just run away sooner if there's a if there's a wizard early on because it's just very difficult to get out of those fights if you're halfway through them. Um, lizard wizard. Okay. Uh, let's see. Presets. Ooh, I kind of like the purple. Although maybe you gotta go classic green. Um, Runaway is a very important permadeath lesson. <laughs> okay, alright, I'll be a little more careful. God, I thought I was being so careful. 
Flee into the water? Ah, uh, that's not that good. Yeah, that's true. Um, getting a companion. Yeah, okay. Um, what's the name of our uh, lizard wizard lady? Although maybe we won't. We don't actually want to be a wizard, but. Uh, Hi Toby. Is there something that you uh, something that you want? Liz? <laughs> Liz the lizard? I kinda like that. Liz, Liz it is. Alright. And should we do another surprise me? Approach, my child. I feel like always surprise me, right? Shall begin. It's probably Oh, this one's specifically you're a dock worker in Windhelm though. An Argonian dock worker. Uh, but I feel like surprise me is uh it's probably good. He is in treat range, Krampus, yes. He's standing right next to me now, wagging his tail. Um, Leaving your life to chance, so be it. Okay, here we go. Um, round two, hopefully a lot more careful this time, but... Uh, Oh, I think we actually are uh, a dock worker. I think that that's what we what we drew here. We're uh, oh, this isn't solitude though. Are we betting again? Yes, we are. And uh, this will be a little bit easier in terms of um, in terms of the uh, start time. So it's two forty three. So if I make it to three forty three, uh, we've won. Ooh, a fishing rod. Oh, I can't take it though. It's fake. So much free fish. Sure, I'll take the bucket. Just it's easier. Wait, why is only some of this marked up for taking? I guess that was just cosmetic. That's weird. I feel like that's usually not the case in this game. I don't know why that keeps happening. Um. Do we have anything on us? Let's see. A fine hat. So I guess we're like, yeah, some kind of dock worker with a sword. Oh my god. Did anybody hear that noise? What? 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 I'm really scared. It sounded like there was like a mouse in my computer. What? Help! Oh no! I'm very, I'm very freaked out. I, th I think that was actually... That, that was the sound I think of like... A fan cable inside my PC just like... Getting hit by the fan for a second. That was really strange. Um, uh, Alright. This is, this is... By far the strangest stream I've ever done. Uh, I guess I'll just give it a solitude at the start here. Um, do we have magic, by the way? Let's see. We have flames and healing again, okay. The only threat is RSI. It's very fitting. Um, I mean, maybe the real power move here is to go to solitude and just, like, really steal a bunch of stuff. Right off the bat. Because usually the big cities have um, ample opportunity for, for stealing stuff. So let's let's see if we can pull that off. Of course, the, the downside is if uh, if we get caught, it's all over probably. But um, or we're just gonna sit in jail. Okay, we got that uh, execution happening here. Actually, while that's happening, I can probably steal a bunch of shit. Okay, let's go to the uh, potion, the potion uh, house, which could be a good way to keep ourselves alive. Uh, like, is this stuff? Oh, oh, wow, that was really close. I almost grabbed that. Okay, this person needs to leave. Welcome to the center of the world. 
Or at... Oh, if you're looking for a good attitude, go see the Bards. They'll fake it for you, if nothing else. If you're looking for truth instead, see Noster. He's Noster. a good example of... And if you're just looking to feel good, go get some spiced wine from Yvette. But whatever you do, just leave me alone. The worst. We'll speak again later. Um... Vivian, could you check out supplies of mandrake root? Oh, man. Which one is that again? Oh, there's probably some really good stuff to steal here. Ooh, this is probably hidden. Yeah. In that case, I'm pretty sure I tried to buy me a drink last night. Okay, I'm worried she's coming back around. Yeah, she is. Well, it's one of them is. Yeah, okay, here we go. Ah, uh, hi! I am just browsing. Um... They got me covered from two angles. What am I going here? Oh! <laughs> I think she's onto us. Um... Welcome to Angela's Aromatics. Can I help you with some herbal? Ah. Oh. She's following me around. She knows that I'm... Uh... Oh, wait a minute. Yes. Okay. Oh! Hi! Great shop you got here. Yep. Just browsing. Uh-huh. Okay, bye. I'm just gonna go to the basement. And what a lovely basement you have. Um, nice broom. God, that sword was worth 25. I probably should... Oh, hi! Yeah, no, I really... The basement, right? I mean, sweet rolls. Uh, mm. uh, oh, man, so many wheels of cheese. Um, duh! He's like Sherlock Holmesing, uh, teleporting into my face. Um, okay, what about uh, the upstairs? I'm just gonna, gonna go look at that too because I am um, skulls. This is where this is where she murders the people who do this. Uh, oh, oh shit! The strong box. I was gonna grab that strong box. You're a traveler, correct? Maybe if I just like humor her. She'll, uh... Oh, well. Ah, so you're an alchemist. Yep. Don't forget me next time you need <laughs> herbs and potions. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, okay. Alright, I guess this isn't gonna work. Or I'm just gonna have to be really fast. No reason. Um. Oh shit. Oh, no. I didn't take anything yet, so you can't arrest me. Bye. <laughs> oh man. Um. I love that. <laughs> Every time I exit a room, there are like three things missing, but she's just like, I can only do something if I see him take it. Um. Uh, you can put a basket on her head. Oh, is there a basket? What if I accidentally steal it, though? That's the problem. Is she coming down? Where is she? Wait, what's she doing? Well, it seems like she's gone now. Okay. Um. Oh! God damn it! Ah, oh, she's so good! Um. Uh, let's see. Oh, I have that basket from the dock. What about this one, though? Yes. yes. Watch what you're doing. Nope. It's a little bit easier with PC controls, but. Oh. Ah, welcome to Angela's Aromatics. Can I help you with some herbal needs? <laughs> Damn it. Oh, thank you for sitting down. This is gonna make this so much easier. Certainly in the right place. Certainly. This is harder than playing Kerbal. <laughs> no! Oh! 
Oh, she Fusro dodged that basket right off her face. All right, well, I think we got some good stuff out of here, though. We better move on. Uh... <laughs> Okay, um, what do we got here? It's like breads and stuff. Let's go to the general store. Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you fear and say, oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Oh, she's got lots of stuff. Okay, uh, we have a lot of gold. I'm gonna buy some hide stuff. Um, and, gosh, maybe a shield? Um, whoa! Carrying capacity increased by 75 points just for having this backpack? Is this new? I guess this is part of the um, uh, anniversary update. Oh, wow. Okay. I guess I want this then. Oh, wait, does this mean... Is this in place of armor, though? Maybe not. Lockpicking is 15% easier. Holy crap. I mean, this is, like, quite a... Here, let's see. Uh, Wow, no, it's not in place of armor. That's a huge boost. That is really nice. Okay. Bits and pieces. Huh. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Um, let's sell some of the stuff that we have here. Um, sell that bucket. <laughs> I guess I, that wasn't a bucket, that was a basket. Maybe a bucket would have stayed on her head. Uh, Take a look. Oops, I forgot to look at what else she has. So we have 192... I mean, if we're going to go, what, what was the plan? We're going to go uh, go for a bow. Toby. Toby sometimes likes to itch himself raw, so I'm just making sure he doesn't do that. Um, all right, she doesn't have a bow. All right, let's 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 just uh, let's move on down the road here. Um, oh, wait, we can sell these fine boots, though. A bit of this and a bit of that. Okay. Mm -hmm. I wonder if there's anything to steal here. Oh. Expert, though. I don't know. I could be. Oh! Ah! <laughs> okay. They're definitely a little more diligent than I uh, recall. Um. All right, yeah, we're going to do Stealth Archer if we can. So we're going to need... Let's get that Nut Treat. Um, okay, so we have very little food. Um, I'm going to, with the remaining cash, see if we can pick up Just some food. Just what you see here. Oh, none of this stuff is cooked. Um, okay, not very useful. Come back when you figure out how to spend money. You're some kind of like mead person. Oh, this is the this is the merchant that I need, but I think he might be the one getting executed right now. <laughs> I think that might actually be the lore. When I was like, how good? Uh, um, maybe it's you. I'm afraid I'm running and I'm sure it's mostly for ceremonial Yeah. All right. Well, we're not getting any levels in town here. I think we should venture out. Um, but uh, ah, no shield. This is this is gonna be interesting. Do the new fishing mechanic. Well, we don't have a fishing rod. That's the problem. Um. Maybe someone would sell me one, but uh, I guess while I'm here, I should just go to the Jarl. And, uh, or in this case, I think it's the Queen? Um, and see if they'll give me a quest or something.
Still stuff in the court mage. Oh yeah. Oh hello. Just tidying up. Please don't interrupt the court. I swear to you, unnatural magics are coming from that cave. There are strange noises and lights. We need someone to investigate. Please? Then we will immediately send out a legion to scour the cave and secure the town. Hafengar's don't interrupt the court. Always be safe under my rule. Um. My scrying has suggested nothing in the area. This is a hell of a backpack. Is under imperial control. This is likely superstitious nonsense. I like this hat. Perhaps some more tempered reaction. We look very uh Oh, yes, of course you were right. Falk, tell Captain Skyrim like Dickens or something. Like we're we're we're, we're going to be awakened by the Thank you, Jarl Elisif. Ghosts of Skyrim past. Do you have do you mind turning on something? Oh, that was something I was going to do and then I didn't. Um Ospo, thank you for reminding me to do that. Um, uh, Hello. Oh, I have dialogue subtitles on. I'm not sure why they're not. Let's try turning on general subtitles and see. Well, you can rest easy. You're dismissed. Hmm. Not sure. I have so very take a look. Staff of Mage Light. Um, scrolls and things. Yeah, nothing to. Take care of yourself and always remember. Where'd that Yarl go? Get over here, Yarl. If you have business, please see Falk Firebeard, my steward. Oh, I thought that matter was handled. I think Falk is taking care of that. That man who cried wolf. Pray for solitude and my husband. Um, I guess we should track that. I guess it's being. Oh no. Okay. It's you. I am the Yarl steward. You mean the Dragon Bridge issue? I'll be honest with you. I was planning to let that go. Varnius is a bit jumpy at the best of times. There have been reports of weird happenings near Wolfskull Cave. Travelers disappearing, odd lights. I suspect wild animals, or perhaps bandits. I don't think it's worth our time with the war going on. Weird happenings. But if you want yeah, this guy did so many things. I'm sure you're repaid for your work. He's the Juniper Berries guy. Um, the Yar has put out a bounty on some bandits. Here, take a look at this decree for detail. Okay, so we got a bounty. Broken Ore Grotto. Uh, Wolf Skull Cave has a minimum enemy level of 8. Yeah, that's the thing. Even though this game levels things along with you a bit, there are still like areas of the world that are more or less dangerous, so you probably shouldn't. Um, shouldn't try that one right now. But uh, we can definitely steal a potato instead. Um, now let's just go, let's get in the Skyrim, let's go, um, let's just head toward Whiterun, probably. I mean, we're gonna have to go back to Helgen at some point, but I, I guess let's get, get to lands that are maybe a little bit less intense. Uh, this is actually gonna be pretty tough. I mean, I'll be really happy if we can make it to Whiterun without dying, uh, cause this is, this is a very far out starting position. Oh my god, I thought that was a dragon. <laughs> I was like, oh no! Hey, uh, it's okay. just an eagle. Hawk. Made back the moth. Um, do people generally play Skyrim in first person? Like, are there people who play it in third a lot of the time? I tend to switch into third occasionally just to, like, remind myself what my character looks like, but usually stick to first. There is a carriage travel system. That is right, Unimural. I don't remember if you can... If you have to unlock the spots? Probably not. So I guess we could just probably take the carriage to White Wine right now. Maybe we should. That we probably ought to. I think really the goal here is just, like, kill somebody who has a bow and then, uh... start leveling up that bow. Oh, 
jumping around out there, we're fighting first. Yeah, I... Need a ride? The, uh, My yeah... Carriages. Where do you want to go? Oh, it's expensive. Um, not so much for White Run though. Okay. Climb and back, and we'll be off. You ever been to White Run before? We should save. I can't now. Okay. Charles Palace is something to see. Well, dragon hopefully skull. this doesn't crash. Big old dragon skull I guess we just loaded out of that door. So. Um. Fine all right. Ismir, it's true. A jester, funny suit and all. Just north by the Laurius farm. Fool had a coffin in a cart with a broken wheel. I'd like to see him laugh his way out of that. Talk to the strange jester. <laughs> um, we have nothing to do on White Run yet. Let's backtrack to Helgen and kind of get to where we were before. It's like mostly wolves and things. I'm that conjurer was really surprising. I guess I did interrupt whatever they were doing, and that's what triggered the combat. I don't know that I've ever run into her otherwise. Standard prisoner situation. Nothing to be concerned about. Be on your yep. way. Um, yes, I will be. Enjoy being jerks. Um. Okay. Now, the thing that gives you uh, experience is just like trying different ingredients um, and failing or succeeding but also failing I think gives you experience oh geez right, that wasn't too bad um, I guess I should have healing in the one hand right now For the moment, will be like a um, what do they call it? Like a battle mage. Uh, okay, it's going okay. Fit, how are you? There are big lizards in the world. There are. I think there were more th in Oblivion. I feel like there were more systems that you could just kind of exploit for. Like you could just jump and gain like athletic skills points and stuff. Like you could really just. Uh, Okay, so, um, I guess I'll spend the night here. Well, one of us has to do something. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Not interested in what they're saying. All I'm thinking is they are rooted in that conversation. Meanwhile, I can steal all of their stuff. Um, oh, open Skyrim. Is this a balcony? No, oh, I don't remember this. Okay. Well, I don't know what you overheard, but the Riverwood Trader is still open. Feel free to show. Oh, I don't have any lockpicks. Okay. Well. The Riverwood Trader is. At Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. It's like clearly a bunch of useful stuff. <laughs> Some may call this junk. You know, like bread. Just like junk. Uh, um, spell tomes. Uh, we can get that raised zombie going.
Can I just buy... Oh, 1600 Never mind. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. A mage backpack. That's probably what we want versus the... The one that we have, but I can't really afford it right now. Or oh, this one, bow, bows do 10% more damage. Oh, that's... Wow. This is a really interesting... Uh, not a mod, but a whatever creation club thing. I better get back to cleaning the store. What a pleasant I'm man. Who's just like following me around. You want some more junk? Um Alright. Let's spend the night here, get some more food. Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. Get those rabbit haunches, those slaughter fishes. Hard not to. You're that d sure thing. It's your the ale is going bad. We need to get a new batch. Man, horse armor. I bought a horse in my casual playthrough for a thousand gold or something and it was immediately killed and i was very sad that i didn't have any horse armor um nothing to steal in here damn come on in we got warm food warm drinks and warm beds you right buddy that was being kind of weird okay Did i see you talking to sven maybe not Maybe Riverwood's agreeable enough, I suppose. Oh, this is an archery trainer. He's a bard, so he says. Occasionally, he finds time to do his job here at the mill. What is this lady doing? To... An intelligent, beautiful woman like her wouldn't fall for that nonsense. I hope. I've been thinking. Maybe Camilla needs a little help seeing Sven for what he is. Could you, could you give her this letter and say it's from Sven? I think I've matched that Nord's lack of cleverness perfectly. Mm -hmm. it's it's like, I want experience points, but I don't want to encourage that. <laughs> How far are you willing to go to level up? Are you willing to help this um, deeply troubled individual pull off some morally questionable stuff? I guess that's just a lot of these quests. <laughs> uh, all right. Sure, money. Either way, I need all the things right now, but maybe not that much. Um, I'm gonna head back this way and just not kill that conjurer this time. There's that one dungeon that's pretty easy. Oh, we need some. Uh, I feel like people probably know the one I'm thinking of. It's, it's around the bend here. Not too bad. Um, in the gold before you get some standing stones? Okay. Like a little, um... Bandit dungeon. Yeah, I wish I didn't have to kill all the dogs, but, um... I'm not starting over. We're gonna we're gonna make it to an hour. Ah, here we go. Ember shard mine. That's that's the one. Uh, yes. Oh. Are you? Okay. You know. The crits always surprise me in this game. Even to this day, I'm I'm like, oh my god. Didn't know I was gonna do that. Um. Oh, these are... Okay. Hi, Toby. You okay? I think Toby needs something, but I'm not sure what. Okay, here we go. First dungeon, still level one. This could go 
poorly. But let's hope it does not. Oh, there was nobody there. <laughs> Damn. Um, that's a trap. Um... Oh, thanks, Ellie. Toby. Okay, we've got two here. Uh, should I lead? Toby. Oh, you all right? Oh, jeez. Are you... You got it stuck in your throat, buddy? All right. I'm going to take care of Toby before we get into the combat here. I'm going to take a short break. I haven't taken a break yet anyway, so I'll be right back. This will not count against the time. Okay, um, Toby's fine, but uh, I think he just is being annoying. Actually, the other day, well, this is not a good time for the story. We got to get serious. Okay, here we go. I think I'll let them split up a little bit. I think I should lead with flames, and then um, I actually don't know how to do the um, quick menu with Sky UI. Does that not exist anymore? Because if it doesn't, that's kind of annoying. Um, oh, okay, they're gonna go that way. Um, oh, he's, uh, in bed here. Oh! Okay, well. Oh, no! Okay. I don't think they heard. Um. Sure, let's take stuff to sell. Um. Normally on controller you would just hit up on the D-pad, but uh... Oh, he's singing. Oh, hi. Okay. Wait, should we just dual wield? Can we? Oh yeah, you can. Oh right, I haven't set a favorite yet, that's why. <laughs> Okay, there we go, there we go. Um, all right. Let's just go, um, oh, that's a nice quick menu, actually. That's definitely better than the uh, default one that's like down on the bottom left. Very small. Um, let's go flame sword, and then I'll switch into healing as needed, I think. Until we find a bow, and then we'll, we'll try to do our, uh, sneaky bow build that way. Oh god. That works. Just take all the things until I can't. Ooh, a great sword. Hmm. Hey, super. I'm feeling good about this run. I feel like um, I feel like we can make it deep without dying. Let's let's see where this goes. Oh. <laughs> oh wait. Oh, I missed my chance. I really like not getting hit, so I guess, yeah, archery slash 
Um, spells seem like a good thing to invest in here. Question is, do we throw those robes on and just go for it? Um, so the injuries in Wildcat are like kind of complicated. I don't I mean, I think basically, I don't know if you can get like permanently injured. That's my one question. Didn't really read it all that carefully, but um, so okay. Yeah, let's raise a zombie. Let's do it. We might not have enough mana though. We're level one. Um, ah, we do. Okay. Where is the thing that needs to become a zombie? Ah, there we go. Okay. Nice. Uh, there are other conjuration spells that don't need the corpse, but for that particular spell, it does. Um, Uh, the spell camera stuff racks me up. Um, okay. I learned it. It's just like the Matrix, just uh... Oh god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, they're shooting so fast, I'm running away. Uh, I'm so scared. Oh, jeez. Um... Holy shit. Are they so good? Oh no. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll raise this person as a zombie. To deal with that. But where do I go up on the left there? Wow, that is so far to get to that one enemy. This is going to be tough. Um, I was just thinking that, Tom. <laughs> you take the torch. Didn't think it was anything special, but okay, here we go. All right, and now I don't have much mana left. I guess I'll go like sword. Um, are you gonna just sort of? Oh, we leveled up. Now here's the thing with survival. Uh, you can't like quote unquote level up until. Um, you can't apply your points and stuff until you get to a bed. So that does not really help us yet. Oh man, this is great though. Look at this. Oh yeah, zombie power. You've heard of desert power. Uh, but zombie power is what we need to cultivate now. Now we got that bow. Um, and... This charred skeever hide, everything's looking up. Um, yeah, let's let's go for the bow build. Let's do it. We got twenty arrows. That's a pretty good start. Um, Liz is bandit. The only thing annoying about the bow conjuration build is having to switch into the, uh, you know, switch back and forth between the spells and things, but. I guess, ideally, we wouldn't have to do that that often. We would just raise the one zombie and then kind of just go with it. Whoa! Where are you going? <laughs> do they crumble after a certain amount of time, or...? Yeah, 60 seconds. Okay. Let's get a new one going. Maybe I can just, like... No. Okay. <laughs> that answer that, and then I need... Oops. Can't do that yet. I need, um... Favorite my bow, that's what I was trying to do. Okay. I'm not sure if creeping around is gonna be effective with the zombie behind me. Oh, is this the end of the dungeon? I guess it is. Alright. Well hey, we made it to level two, that's very exciting. Um I guess I should actually go apply that perk point. Um 
Oh, what happens if I bring my zombie to town? Do they kill it? Are they going to be mad at me for bringing a zombie to town? Clear. Um, uh, super, there's some modding going on here. Um, I thought I would experiment. This is actually a little bit more saturated than I would prefer. Um, but that's like an ENB thing. I'll maybe tweak a bit. Um, Let's go cut some, uh, although actually, I don't know, we have this, like, bedroll backpack. Does that mean we can just, like, use this to, like, I don't know what this bedroll does. Um, can we just sleep wherever, then? Oh, it's just for cosmetic purposes? Yeah, okay. So we're going to need to chop some wood. Oh, there's no axe. Gotta be one around here, right? Yeah, okay. I mean, I kind of like having to build the campsite with the camping thing, so I'm, I don't hate that the bedroll isn't functional, but I'm, yeah, I guess I just assumed it would be. Um, I guess I probably should put together a list of the mods I'm using in case anybody's interested, but uh, I don't think it's really anything that special or unknown. The one mod that I did throw in there that I haven't mentioned yet is there's a mod that increases the amount of gold that merchants have, which I feel like is just <laughs> always kind of an annoyance in Skyrim um, that uh, you, you get all this stuff and half the time you just have nobody to sell it to. I didn't up it by a lot, but I upped it by like, I, just, I think it just doubles what they have. Um, I figured with the amount of difficulty of a permadeath run that that was um, warranted. Uh, okay, we gotta craft these. Ain't every day we get visitors to Riverwood. Okay. Reminds me when I first Very happy we got our camping supplies in this playthrough um, going. Um, I wonder if I should, like, improve any of this stuff. Probably not yet, because I'll find some stuff that's better than this shortly, I would imagine. Um, let's go sleep. Actually, I think we probably can just use the same room. I don't think it's... Enough time has passed. Yep. Okay. Alright, here are the choices. Uh, I'm inclined to go with health early on here, um, particularly if we're going to do a bow build, you know, I mean, magic, I guess, at some point soon, but um, I think the first one for permadeath run, I'm going to choose health. Uh, Magicka every time, oh my god. Um, and then, what for a perk? Um, I don't know. Let's see. I mean, I guess the bow? Bow perk? I mean, the other thing we can start doing is buffing um, our armor, but I don't know, are we going to go heavy armor or light armor? That's the other thing, I don't know. 20% um, more bow damage is crucial. Yeah, I, I'm i going to listen to Aeon early on here. What is the base conjuration perk? I think it's just Magicka usage for it, which might be the next one. Yeah, half Magicka. That's probably going to be the one we take next, because some of those spells require so much that you can't even use them. Um, so, 
yeah, we'll probably want to get the base for anything that we're actually like for sure going to invest in. Um, but yeah, I, I like the idea of the bow damage because it is fairly weak uh, starting out, unless you get like a crit shot or whatever. Um, okay. We are well fed. So where to now? Oh, I guess Helgen, just to do it, get it out of the way, get that corpse going. Hey, watch it! The thing I'm scared about with the bow right now is, again, playing on controller and things that can move quickly like wolves uh, could be a problem and I might panic and die. Um, so, yeah. I need a good, like retreat plan for the bow. I mean, the, I think Conjuration makes a lot of sense because, um, oh, is this, oh, that's where we just came from. Um, if they, if they've got something that's sort of taunting them, uh, then I can, uh, sit back and take pot shots and things, but, um, there is an auto aim, I think, but, uh, it is turned off via these, like, difficulty modifications, so... Not, I don't have terrible aim with the controller, but it's not... It's not perfect. That's for sure. Let's grab this uh, stone again. I could also just... Well, I can't actually. I was about to say, I could also just go to mouse and keyboard uh, when I have important shots to take, but um, you can't. You have to, in Skyrim, it, it doesn't, um, can't switch on the fly, so we are committed. But, uh, yeah, I feel like this is better than, streaming this game with mouse controls is just a bit of a choppy mess from a viewer standpoint, so I think this is, this is better. Oh. Okay, I think that's just the box. Okay. Yeah, the animation in this game is so unpredictable that even with the mouse, it's arrows are not a guaranteed shot all the time. So this is a risky build in some ways, um, but. Uh, The hidden version of it, yeah, is obviously overpowered. I feel like we might need to basically think about bow is like our primary way of dealing with like really powerful enemies, and then if things go bad, I've got like a backup thing I can switch into. Um, like if things go bad, I just grab my sword shield back up, or I don't know, use like uh, some kind of spell combo or something. Um, Investigate, uh, Algon. I don't think there's really anything, uh... I mean, we can go into the caves. I guess let's go into the caves. I mean, there's just, like, stuff to do there. It's a dungeon. May as well. Um... Could die. Yeah, I've played Skyrim VR. It's it's a little barfy for me. Um, because you've got to use a controller. Uh, I mean, if you don't, then you're zipping around a lot, and it's it doesn't really feel like Skyrim to me, you know? Um, so... But if you teleport, it's probably fine to watch as a viewer. I know I would probably barf after 40 minutes, so...
Okay. <laughs> That's funny, the dragon... The dragon stuff still plays. Okay, here we go. This is gonna be scary. Wait. Are all the enemies gone? Are they just dead? Oh, wow. So this is almost like... As if that guy came through here on his own. And just... Destroyed everybody. And you were not here to help. Um, okay. I'm okay with that. You're not the main character. God, that would be really interesting, actually, if this whole thing was just tweaked so that the Dragonborn was running around out there. I mean, I guess that is the premise of this, right? But, I mean, it's not, because you still have to do the main quest. Or did they did they actually change the whole main quest? That you you get there like two steps too late. I don't know. I don't think you know how this works. Should I take this heavy armor? You're still the dragonborn. Okay. God, it'd be really good if you just like if there was a dragonborn character that was added to the game that you kept like crossing paths with. It'd be so good. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Should we go heavy armor? I, it's definitely warmer then oh I should have sold this stuff uh, shoot um All right, I'm going to go with the heavy armor for now. I mean, it doesn't seem like there's a real downside to it. Yeah, it wouldn't be worth the weight, except that we actually, with this um, backpack, I don't know that weight is a real uh, concern, or as much of a concern. Um, right now. Uh, actually, you know what else? Um, and this is kind of bad. Yeah. There's no um, warmth rating on the armor. And I think that's a Sky UI problem. But normally there would be a warmth rating on all the uh, clothes and stuff. So we don't actually know what they're doing. Um, anyway, doesn't have that. Oh boy. Ugh. Yeah, that's not good. Um, I mean, I kind of generally know that, like, what what things are warmer, so I guess we can get by. But that's that's a bummer. Yeah, it's part of the survival mode, uh, Circadian, yeah. Um, okay. Is there going to be anything alive in this place? Oh, thanks, Leanne. Okay, yeah, that was my next question, but... Is that longbow maybe better than what we have? Hunting bow. No, it's not as good. Um, what? This is the way you normally go. Is this just... You can't go this way now? Yeah, because you can see the... usual path. Uh, hmm. Something behind the waterfall? No. 
Maybe they come in from the... Oh, so this is just not... This is just not open to us. Okay, so I'm gonna run out all the way out now. Hmm. That's weird. Strange choice to block that. Yeah, it's funny that they like accounted for uh you know, they've got all these dead bodies everywhere here, and like they, they deliberately placed all of this stuff, but then um blocks that exit where the bear usually is. Um Maybe like scripting stuff gets broken there and it was just bad and weird, so they blocked it to keep it from being weird for uh people stumbling across it. But yeah, at that point, just like don't let people go in here. Um, okay. Well, um, I guess we'll go through Riverwood, do the start the main quest, and then head to um, well wherever I guess at that point. Yeah, Bleak Falls is going to be scary. Um, I mean, I guess we should get the the main quest um, for that. Although, I guess technically we don't need it, right? We can just go in, beat it, get the main quest, and come back, and then... Wait, can you just go in and grab the claw, and then you don't even have to take the quest from the Jarl? Can you just do it straight up? Right, like right now? I feel like you probably can. Let's just go there. Um, oh, okay, I'm doing this. Yeah, it's coming up soon and I really haven't taken many risks, so I feel like it's time to go take a risk. Uh, the one hour mark, that is. So, we'll approach from this side. I got a mod that changes the quiver position on the player so that it doesn't intersect with the weapons as much. You can kind of see it there, although it now it's just intersecting with the bedroll. <laughs> They've added too many things to Skyrim. There's no place to put things now on your body. Alright, I'm gonna save for no reason, because if I die, I die, so this is just... Out of habit. I've been detected. Or I, I could be detected. Where are these bandits? Oh, right. oh god. Oh, it went over! No! Oh. Oh, Jesus. Oh, they fell! Sneaky. Got him. Uh. <laughs> oh, man, that was really tense. Uh, I think this Wildcat mod actually makes using a bow slightly better in the sense that once they take that first shot, they are really, really, uh, in danger, but, um, this next part is going to be tough. So I'm going to take a zombie, um, with me.
Okay, here we go. Uh, love my zombie companion. Just so enthused. Um, something to the right. They're gonna come down the steps at me. Oh, maybe I can get a really lucky shot off here. Although I kind of want to get my companion in combat before they, um, you know. Oh well, here we go. Nice. All right. Oh, my arrow's back. Damn it. Oh. Oh, oh, jeez. Right the face. Oh. Ah. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, Jesus. Oh! Uh, healing. Minor healing. Um, it's a tough, it's a tough situation. Um, they really shoot fast. Oh my God! There's two of them. Oh no! Running away! Running away! Running away! Running away! Running away! Okay. Um, boy, I'm really questioning the uh, the bow build all of a sudden. Um, because. Uh, this is like you get seen. It's just a torrential situation. So many arrows coming at you. Um, oh, Jesus! Shield and magic, maybe. God. Uh, yeah, this seems a little... Wildcat, I mean, I wouldn't be against removing it if we end up feeling like it's kind of silly. Um, I thought it was interesting to try, but... This is a very difficult combat mod. Like, look at this. <laughs> what is this? Can I get them to run out of their arrows now? Will they ever run out? Oh my god. If they ran out, I would be okay with this, but... Um, wow. I'm waiting this out, I'm gonna... ...make a zombie here. Come on! Okay. <laughs> Alright, uh, maybe I can just sort of cover them from behind while they attack, yeah. Oh my god. Well, I did a lot. Alright, um, I, yeah, I'm starting to really question the bow now. That was a pretty tough situation. Um, I mean, even, like, melee is going to be difficult because running toward that machine gun fire is a little dicey. You almost want to have your healing hand out all the time. Um, Yeah, our max health is down from the uh, cold. It should go back up once we get inside here. Oh boy. Okay, here we go. Um, hey, half love. I don't want to get too close because I actually would guarantee I make the shot. Nice. Missed. Oh god, it's an archer! Oh no! They're so hard! It might be one thing if I was playing with mouse and keyboard, but... Good lord. We're in a weird tifo situation there. Alright, that'll, that'll do them in. Um... I 
actually. There we go. Uh, I'm going to choose health again. Um, well, geez, do we have to rethink what we're going to do here? Or should I just disable that wildcat mod? I guess that's the... That's the question. Um... Conjuration would be fun, period, so maybe I should just put one point into that. Taking a light armor perk. But what if we end up going heavy? I mean, we've got heavy on right now. That's the thing. Um, I don't know. I don't know how Sneak works, like, I don't know if it's worth it. Maybe it becomes worth it, as you kind of... Oh, we have to do Light Armor to be more sneaky? Okay. Uh, hmm. I mean, that's fine, we can go Light Armor, but it becomes worth it? Yeah. Alright, I know people are really adamant about the bow thing. Maybe we can just figure it out and, uh... Not for a few levels. Let's take a light armor, a light armor point then, and switch back into light armor if that's better for sneaking. And yeah, on the next stream, assuming I don't die here in the next uh, few minutes, and I, I do have to have to actually go in five minutes, so. Um, we're only going to get so far into this uh, dungeon, but uh, on the next stream I will maybe play with mouse and keyboard, even though it might be a little barpier. If we're going to go for the bow build, I probably have to. Come on. Okay. All right. Let's move on. the next enemy is, I feel like it. Hmm. Is it just the whale thing? Oh no, it's this guy. If we can make bows work, it seems like it is maybe the way to go. Guess I've just gotta get my shit together with the. Uh... All right, so it's a uh, snake, snake wheel. Yep, it's that one puzzle. Well, I guess there's the other one too. book. Thief. Um, do remember these rats usually come up here. Oh! God! What makes archery hard, oh geez, is that when you get hit, it just wobbles the camera. And um, if you just keep getting hit by uh, archers in the distance, you just never get a straight shot, even. Oh god, the... Oh no, I just remember the spider. Uh, um, Alright, let's try to fight the spider before I go. Oh boy. 
Oh my god. Definitely gonna cheese this if I can. And yeah, this is actually giving me confidence in the bow build. Trying to do this melee, I probably would have died. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh no, this is we're definitely gonna stick with this. We just gotta make it work. Um Help me out of here. You over here. It's coming loose. I can feel it. Never should have come to <laughs> Listen. Listen. <laughs> It's permadeath run. We are not chasing this guy around. Um, okay. Well, I... For one, this is definitely uh, the yeses have it. Um, and, uh, yeah, no, I, I think this is going to work. Uh, I might switch to mouse and keyboard and then folks next stream, um, which should be tomorrow, can tell me if uh, if it's making them barfy, and then I'll we'll we'll go from there. But if mouse and keyboard seems like um, okay for most people, then I'll probably I'll probably do that to kind of balance out the difficulty of this this wildcat thing. Um, but uh, I'm gonna call it here and just say, hey, we're not dead yet, so that's good. That means. Um, we can actually play real Skyrim tomorrow, i.e. like exploring and running into weird stuff. Uh, so <laughs> I'm very, uh, well, I say that and yet the Necromancer at the end of this uh, dungeon could be an issue. We'll see. Um, but anyway, yeah, I have to run. I have a little bit of work to do, uh, but really looking forward to more of this. I am going to come back tomorrow. Let's just put a time on it. Um, oh, I've got things in the middle of the day tomorrow. Um, so it's going to have to be a noon stream probably. Uh, so let's, let's call it for noon. Um, and I'll just do like, uh, um, a little bit more of this and then Friday I'll have lots of time and we'll do a lot more of this. Uh, but yeah, I'll be back noon tomorrow, uh, probably like noon to two. So um, join me then, if you can. Uh, but if you can't, have a good uh, day anyway. And um, yeah, cheers to everybody who helped um, figure out mods and things for this. I'm really excited to keep playing Skyrim. This game is like exactly what I want to play over the uh, winter here. So uh, let's see if I can make it through. I don't know. I Somebody asked, like, is, what's your goal? <laughs> Beating Skyrim on permadeath. If we can put together some lives of dragon kills, it might be possible. I don't know that I've ever actually beaten Skyrim, honestly. I've played a lot of it and I've seen the ending and stuff, but I don't know if I've ever gone all the way through and done everything. So, like, yeah, beating Skyrim might be a good idea. So, um, but we'll see. Anyway, see you all tomorrow. Take care and uh, bye. Hour two and a half? And I think we're on world record pace. Not everyone runs this category. Um, oh! Hi, my name's Nick Brecken. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, wow, I've never clicked this button. Yeah, I'm Luke Skywalker. Yeah. Yeah. No! I am a game developer, occasional podcaster. Get over the door, you coward! I stream uh, almost daily on this channel now called Idle Thumbs. No! We have a really good community. Oh, shit. Oh, no! Please join us for, um... Nope, nope. Oh my god, I'm alive. <laughs> the hoisting? Join us for the madness. Oh no, the engine's too big. <laughs> join us for the hubris. What I need to do is stand on the roof of this Jeep and fire a rocket-propelled grenade. Oh no! No! <laughs> I occasionally stream with my girlfriend, Janelle. I live on the edge. No! I live on the edge. No, you don't! <laughs> Sorry, I occasionally stream with my partner, Janelle. Toby. And my wonderful dog, uh, Toby, who you may see. Oh my god, Toby. <gasps> Toby, get out of there. Uh, th this part's not going to be used. Ready for the knowledge. <laughs> Hi. This is how you take pictures. You take a lot of pictures, and then you select the one good one, right? Isn't that how you take pictures? That's how. <laughs> you piece of shit!
That was way too big. I don't like being that big. I, I like, I don't, this is a much better size for my face. <laughs> this should be censored. 